Hello and welcome to Greenofy. Today we are going to make soil profile terrarium. A terrarium is a glass container having soil and plants and it can be closed or open as well. This one is called soil profile terrarium because the idea is to replicate the natural soil layers from the environment. Terrariums come in various shapes and sizes and for soil profile terrarium we will be using a cylindrical glass vase. Before we get on to a step-by-step -step guide on how to make these terrariums, let's look at a brief history of the terrariums. In 1842, an English botanist, Nathaniel Ward, accidentally left some insects in a closed jar and later on he found out that fern spore had germinated and was growing in it. And that's how the first terrarium, which were called as Wardian cases, developed and they were used to export native British plants from England to Australia. And they have now transformed to a modern art pieces. We created this soil profile terrarium two years back and as you can see it's thriving but we felt that it's a bit lonely so we decided to create its companion today. I have selected a long cylindrical glass vase because it will give it a good look of soil profile terrarium. Select plants with indirect light requirement and which can grow in high humidity. Next and very important step is to create a drainage layer at the bottom of the terrarium. So we'll add charcoal and gravel. Charcoal is added because it can absorb impurities and excess salt. Gravel is added so that extra water can collect at the bottom of the terrarium and we can avoid the plant from drowning. Now we will add a layer of moss so that different layers don't get mixed up and it will also give it a good visual impact. Next we will add small gravels. This will give it a visual impact of soil profile where there are bedrock at the bottom and weathered rock on top of it. Moss is added to separate two different layers. We add bigger particles at the bottom of the terrarium and smaller particles on the top to mimic the natural soil profile. So we will add a layer of sand here. Now we will again add moss. Depending on the length of your vase, you can add more layers to create a visual impact. Now let's add the plant. My choice of plant here is peace lily because it can grow well in indirect light, low to medium indirect light and it can tolerate very high moisture. We should avoid plants with low water requirement in this soil profile terrarium because there is no drainage in this terrarium and the soil and moss can absorb a lot of moisture and it will take a lot of time to dry out. Now as you can see I have separated a few plants from my existing peace lily plant. If you have an existing plant you can also create new plants from the same. Please do watch my video on propagation of peace lily. Next and the last layer is soil and organic matter layer. We'll also add some perlite in this and we'll add the plants in this layer. After adding the plant, we'll add a layer of green moss on top of it to give it a natural look. Now again, we can get this moss from garden section or nursery or we can dig a thin layer of moss from our surrounding where it grows naturally in low-lying areas or where water is stagnating. Next, we'll add this layer of moss on top of our terrarium to give it a greener look. Please do consider subscribing if you find this step-by-step -step information useful and do share comments on how you go with your trial. The last step is to add a little water to clean the leaves and to keep the terrarium moist. So here is our beautiful terrarium and I believe that both of them they are happy together. 
I hope that you will try making these terrariums yourself because it's inexpensive and most of the material you can get at your home. I wish you good luck for your trials and thanks for watching.